I hope everyone is doing well on this beautiful Saturday. I say beautiful because it's uh, raining here in the lovely city of Bangkok. Uh, this is kind of a little impromptu live stream. Basically just because I was bored and I wanted to tell you guys what happened to me last night. Um, it's kind of rough. <laughs> so I moved, um, as you all know, about, mm, I'm going to say a good three, three and a half hours away from uh, Bangkok. And usually I take a minivan uh, from my new hometown to get to Bangkok and it usually takes about three to three and a half hours, roughly. You know. um, this time, however, it took me five hours and 45 minutes to get here last night. I was so upset. I was literally like just trying to keep my composure in the van. Hey pal, good to see you man. Um, <laughs> it was so rough <laughs> that being trapped in the minivan for five and a half hour or five hours and 45 minutes and they didn't even stop to let us go to the bathroom or, or anything. They didn't stop at all. They didn't stop to get gas. They didn't stop to do anything, which is kind of rare because typically when you're traveling by minivan, they usually stop about once every hour. So, hey Giovanni, good to see you. Um, <laughs> and last night it was just, it was pouring down rain the entire way. I don't know what the deal was with the traffic. Hey Marine Corps, uh, I don't know what the deal was. It was the most plastic box. What you talking about, John? Crazy. It was the most mentally excruciating thing uh, I've ever done in my life. So the only like saving grace in the whole situation was I had the front seat, uh, so I did have a little bit more leg room, and I did have like you know a little bit of breathing room because typically when you get in those minivans, you get packed in, and when I say packed in, I mean packed in. Um, it's rough, but that was not the case uh, last night. Um, I did have, like I said, a little bit of breathing room. I left my umbrella. <laughs> I was so ready to get out of that van. I left my umbrella in the van, and I had to buy a new umbrella uh, later on. No, you know, Pamela. The thing about it is, is uh, they <laughs> they usually they drive like idiots. Like they drive like they're mad people, out of control. The one time that I actually needed to get to Bangkok in a hurry, I got the safest driver in the whole world. Like this guy would not go to the left to pass anybody. He would not go to the right to pass anybody. He just moseyed right along, right in traffic. Didn't move out, didn't do anything. Uh, from the south of Thailand, pal. Um, Hi. Yes, I'm at a restaurant. No, I'm not gonna eat in front of you guys. Because you guys left me some nasty comments about me eating in front of you, so fine. You don't have to see me eat anymore. Um, but I do have a nice looking tuna salad here. I can't wait to indulge in. And a Coke and a blueberry smoothie. So, kind of excited about uh, lunch. It's actually close to dinner, it's like 4 p.m. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's all good too, Marine Corps, but you know, there were some people that, I don't know, they just didn't, they didn't like uh, me eating in front of them, so. It's all good, no worries. Tuna salad is gonna be delicious, Giovanni. Um, so, I've been walking around Mukbang eating is fine with me. I still don't know what that is, Pamela. You're gonna have to explain that. Um, I have no idea what that means. But uh, I've been walking around MBK all day trying to find a gimbal for my camera. You know, I told you guys the, the intention for me coming to Bangkok was to find a gimbal. Well, I found it. The only problem is it's 10,000 baht more here in the mall than it is if you order it online. But if you order it online, you may not get it because according to locals here, Lazada uh, is not reliable when you give them your credit card information. In fact, most people will tell you that if you give them your credit card, you will likely not get your product. Um, so, how do you really order stuff online here in Thailand? I don't know. Um, I'm trying to figure that out because 
I'm gonna need some things that I'm not gonna be able to come to Bangkok for every weekend and you know, uh, things of that nature. So I did find a place I could order the gimbal that I want for my camera uh, earlier today, but it's still more expensive than what it is online and I have to worry about it getting lost in transit. So I don't know. Anyway, what are you guys up to today? Anything special uh, that you guys got going on? John's sending me a photo I can't look at right now. What's a gimbal? A gimbal is a um, piece of equipment that goes on your camera and it holds it steady on all three axes so um, it eliminates all the shake and the vibrations and the, the nastiness when the picture jerks and all that stuff. It's something I've been needing for a long time but I haven't gotten it yet because I hadn't been able to afford it. It's a $700 gimbal. I was gonna buy one that's a little bit cheaper but I tell you the cheaper gimbal my camera flips out on the left side the articulating screen comes out it that's that's right Kevin uh, it comes out on the left hand side but the 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 other gimbal I was gonna buy has a block on that side and it won't let my articulating screen come out so I can't see myself uh, when I vlog Marine Corps are working I appreciate you taking the time man <laughs> Putting my home network together and my Mag 322 box for IP. Cool. Speaking of boxes, I heard that there was a place here in Thailand that sells uh, these boxes for about 4,000 baht that I can get. Pal, you coming out today? Awesome, man. Where you Where are you uh, going to? But I heard there was these boxes that you could get here in Thailand that would give you full access to American television. I don't know if they're legal or not, but I heard you could buy them for about 4,000 baht. So if anybody knows about the legality of that or whether or not it's even true, somebody please let me know. Uh, football season's coming up and uh, actually football season started. I did not watch any football last year at all. The only game I watched was the Super Bowl and that was in the Philippines. So I would love to watch football season uh, or some football season. I'm a big Panthers fan. So, you know, I'd like to be able to watch the team play a little bit um, this year if possible. But the five hours in the minivan thing, guys, it's IPTV. I got it because of the Cowboys. Ah, Cowboys fan. I won't hold that against you, Jim, honey. <laughs> if you guys ever get stuck, or what I really wanted to say, because the title of the video is about the van, what I really wanted to tell you is, if you're going to travel in Thailand and you're going to take minivans, always, 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 always be prepared. Like... Make sure you got plenty of stuff to hydrate yourself with. If you need meds, make sure you have meds with you. If you need water, make sure you have water with you. Um, if you need food, if you haven't eaten for a while, if you're even remotely close to being something like diabetic, always pack that stuff with you because these guys are not going to stop. We were so late getting into Bangkok last night, I got off of the minivan in the middle of the road at the first, the very first BTS station that, I, that we came across. Um, yeah, safe journeys, pal. I uh, hope your trip works out well, and uh, love to know what your plans are. That would be awesome, uh, especially if you're going to be in the. Well, I don't. Know. I'm going somewhere next weekend with work. Uh, they're taking us to. I don't even know where it's at. Um, I just know the next weekend I have some kind of trip scheduled for the weekend uh, with them. It's all expenses paid, so sounds good to me. I'm all. I'm all up for it. I hope it's somewhere um, scenic, and I really hope I have my gimbal by then. Yeah, five hours in a minivan was tough, Kevin. It, it really was. It was. Um, it's, me it's more mentally exhausting than anything else because by the time I got to Bangkok, I was just tired. Pull him, Pattaya, Bangkok. Wow. So you're gonna do the whole thing, pal? That's awesome. Two weeks, I'm off to Manila. Good for you, Giovanni. Have fun, man. Enjoy it. Um, I just talked to one of my friends that lives near Manila, not in Manila, but in a provincial location over there, and uh, he seems to like it. Head to Manila in November. Marine Corps is headed over there. All looking forward. I'm sure you are, and I'm sure, pal, you've done your research and you know where you're going and what you're doing and all that good stuff. So, um, but it, of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, the live stream that I had planned for tomorrow night, as far as I know, is still uh, going to go off uh, probably around 7 or so. I'll schedule it tomorrow. 
Um, that's 7 p.m. Bangkok time. So if you guys want to tune in, that'd be cool. The announcement that I was going to make may or may not happen simply because um, I just haven't had time to finish everything, guys, to be totally honest with you. So um, I'm not sure. Been to few. Okay. All right. Thanks, pal. Awesome, man. Yes, Kevin. I miss the Philippines. Uh, I miss Cebu. I miss Cebu, and I miss uh, a few of the friends that I made in the Philippines. Um, I, I know you do, John. <laughs> I know you miss the Philippines, and you have a good reason to miss the Philippines. Um, John's a very lucky man. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I hope to return pretty soon. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to dig into this tuna salad. Um, there's Kevin. Kevin says, I don't think five hours in a minivan can be any worse than 12 hours. Cat class, age plane. I don't, it's pretty close, man. It's pretty close. I've, I've rode in an aging plane before. I'm not, eh, eh, I don't know. I've done 16 hours in coach. So it wasn't on an aging plane, but it was still in coach. And it wasn't uh, anything to be, you know, happy about by any means. But anyway. Guys, thanks for tuning in. This is real short just to say hey and I hadn't fallen off the face of the earth and I promise I'm going to stop doing so many live streams, I think. And uh, thanks, Giovanni. And uh, and get back to videos, but it just the editing process it consumes a lot of time and I haven't had it recently. So I've just kind of been staying in touch with you guys via these live streams and I appreciate you guys stopping in. So uh, that's it for today. You guys take care and I will see you on the next one. Cheers, Kevin.